Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am here to give you exactly what you want. I know what you want, I'm going to give it to you and it is the most professional, accurate and profitable technical analysis on the market right now. Here we are going to be going over the Bitcoin chart, the very large rise to the upside, exactly how I am trading this right now and exactly what I'm looking for next going into Thursday, Friday, weekend, and the very start of next week. So this will really cover the next, you know, five days of price action. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. I hope that you can learn a lot from it. And then I hope you can implement the levels and insights that I give you into your trading over the days to come. So with all that said, let's get into what you're here for. That is, of course, the analysis. So I'm going to work this is the way that I normally do. And I'm going to start off by just really briefly covering the past price action so I can educate you exact reasons why this rise happened. OK, what I was looking at before this rise. So you can see my insights, what I was giving in the time before any of this happened. OK, it's good to get into my mind to see what I was thinking. And then I'll give you, of course, the reasons of why I thought that and what happened. And then we'll move on to what's happening now, my next levels, and my current trading bias. I will give you my bias of what I personally feel is going to happen as well. So there's a lot to learn in this video. Block the distractions, pay attention to me, and let's get started. So I'm going to pick up where we left off the last video, where we are, of course, looking at the lower NPOC off of that CC reaction. Okay, that was down at around $21,600. Okay. So down and around there, we'd also just seen a swing failure pattern off of our lower range, which now seems like a long time ago. But we were obviously range bound here for a good amount of time down at the lows here between $21,500 and $22,000. Okay, we in the end formed that swing failure pattern of the lows, which gave some people a long entry. I personally didn't long the swing failure pattern here, the second one. But instead, we got the rise to the upside here locally. And I just want to talk you through what has happened before this rise. In the last video, I had obviously told you that I did long the CCNN POC. And at the time, we were getting a rejection off of the CC level. OK, so when we zoom in here to the chart, we had just seen from Fibonacci from high down to the low. We were getting the rejections around this CC. OK, you can see here rejection one and rejection two. So now I'd like to just talk you through this in a little bit more detail so you can fully understand it before we move on to what's happening next. Okay, so at the time, just reminding you once more, I managed to get into that long position off of the NPOC. I'm reminding you of this so you can use this knowledge and insights to further your trading into the future. Okay, when we see these levels of confluence, CC levels of support on NPOCs after we've just seen a swing failure pattern of the range low, this is a bullish sign and this is the time to look for long trades, okay? You look for longs off of these areas of support. Okay, so first of all, it's mark out your levels, be aware of the level. Then when you get the really perfect reaction, which this was, you've got to take that long trade. You've done the analysis, you've marked out your area of support. When you see the perfect reaction, you've got to take that trade. And in this instance, it was a long. Of course, we saw the perfect dropped into 21.612 NPOC and for the price to come in and reverse. Got that large move to the upside and we did reject off of this CC, which is where we now start to pick up from my last video. I personally took a scope short off of this CC, okay? And I want to explain what happened next. So we'd just seen that rejection from this after bouncing off this CC to reject from the top CC, okay? Woke up the next day and I basically told my team we were still at the time from high to low at that same CC Fibonacci resistance. I told my team, while we maintain this support, I want to actually see higher. OK, of course, a lot of other people in my team of the champions were also in long trades. So a lot of people in longs. Very nice off of that NPOC that we were ready and waiting for. OK, so I see a lot of people taking advantage of this, of course got to be aware of CPI data, but let's trade the charts, trade the reactions. Okay, we knew 21,600 was our level of support. When we came down and we hit that from Fibonacci low to high in the CC on the NPOC, we want to see that. And from that instance, we get a long trade entry. We got a rise into the 
CC Fibonacci resistance, okay? And then from here, this is where we start to move on to more recent price action. So when we then woke up yesterday, I told my team we're still at that same CC resistance, but now I'm feeling bullish and I want to get another rise to the upside, okay? So I told my team this at around 9 a.m. UK time. I would like to see higher. I want to see higher prices to come, okay? I also posted on Twitter when somebody asked me, this was before the pump, are we going to long or short this? I'm replying, yes, I'm bullish, mate. I actually want to see higher prices to come. Okay, you can verify all this information yourself. Tweet at 9, uh, at 10.41 a.m. UK time, right? This was before the pump. I'm telling people I'm bullish. Of course, in my team, it's very obvious. I want to see higher. While we maintain support, you know, I want to see higher. So I turned very bullish again this morning. And here we are. 10 hours later with a lovely rise to the upside. I'd just like to show you one other final thing before we move on to what's happening now. And that is, um, you know, while we were still at that CC level, you know, how I woke up and I told my team, I want to see higher. That's still while we're rejecting from that CC from the last stream. I hope you can understand this. I know there's a lot of different Fibonacci's to be aware of. <laughs> but what I'm highlighting here, and I want you to truly understand is that while we're still trading in this section of the chart, I'm telling my team, I want higher prices to come. I want to see higher. I'm telling everybody I'm bullish. And I'd also closed my shorts from that level. Okay, so before the pump, I'm telling my team, I've now closed that short. I want to see us break through the CC and get higher. Okay, I want to see us break through. I'm not in that short anymore. Okay, I've closed the short from the CC. Okay, why? Because I just had a feeling we'd break through. <laughs> when I want to see something, Bitcoin has a very nice uh, respect of what I'd like. So, um, yeah, of course, it's like I say here, right? I'm going to be explaining why I still want higher prices to come. But it's like I was saying yesterday, I've closed my short from this CC. I want us to break through it and I want to see higher. But I could be wrong, right? I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, then really simply, I missed that trade. Okay, if we had dropped from here, and I was feeling bullish, I closed my shorts. If I was wrong and we dropped, I missed the trade. I made a bad, bad decision, but I was right. I wanted to see higher. I was feeling bullish. I did close my shorts. And that bias played out very well, as we saw a lovely pump to the upside, okay? Along the way, we had some levels. For example, here, 22,900. We went from resistance, bat test, a lower 22,600 NPOC, so resistance. This was a resistance which we just blasted straight through. NPOC resistance, touch, back test, resistance into support, resistance touch, break through, resistance into support touch. So along the way, we were seeing nice um, support resistance flips, okay? Each step of the way, getting through each resistance. For me, telling my team, I'm not shorting any of this, I still want higher, and I actually want above $25,000. Okay, that was yesterday around 8.30 p.m. While we were still trading at the time, around 23900 Real simple, I'm not shorting, I want higher. And for me, even though we do have levels here technically, right, we still have weekly levels to be aware of, we still have a swing failure pattern here to be aware of at 24500 for me, no. They're levels to be aware of, but for me, my next level is above $25,000. I'm not shorting, and I still want higher as I wanted in the morning. Okay, and now here we are waking up at around almost $25,000 was hit, topping out currently at $24,940, so very close to my target. And now I'm going to start to explain what I'm looking at next, my current bias, and how I'm currently going to be trading this over the next few days. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the more of, actually longer than I expected, but a bit of an introduction, which I truly feel was worthwhile. I want you to fully understand my thought processes, how I come to such biases, okay? I know a few days ago I was in short positions, okay, okay, back on the 13th of February, okay, the 12th and the, you know, back, back, back on this section of the chart, I was bearish and I was in short positions, right? I had actually closed my longs over the past two weeks. I still have my long from 16, 17, 18 thousand dollars. I still had my longs from lower, but over the past two weeks, I had closed my longs, okay? And then it's a simple case of trading the charts, right? I wanted lower or we were here. We did get lower. We swing failure pattern the range low. We then were given another long opportunity, right? So this is what we mean, trade the charts, take the long entries, when they're given, we got to trade 
those reactions. Trade the charts, I went from bearish to bullish, to wanting higher, to not shorting, and getting higher, okay? So you can see my biases, they are, they are good. <laughs> and from here, we've now seen that rise to the upside. We got through the CC, closed that short while we were still below the level, so that was good insights as well, right? And now we're gonna look at some levels that we have next and my current biases. So we're gonna add on some key levels here that I'm looking at. So we can see below us, we have a few levels to be aware of. Well, in, in particular, 24.130, right? This is another NPOC. For me, this is a time to be a little bit patient here. We currently have bullish divergences on this section of the chart. Uh, CCV setup to be aware of. Uh, but for me, I'm still going to, if we get a pullback first, it's absolutely fine. As long as we don't start to see acceptance. We'd still like to see another rise to the upside here to take out 25,300. And just as yesterday, I was very bullish before the pump. I closed my shorts. I could have been wrong and we dropped. And then it's a simple case of, hey, I was wrong. Uh, I was expecting a pump and we dumped. But I was right and we got the pump right. And the same again here. I am still bullish. I'm still looking for higher prices to above $25,000. Okay, so we can just simply take out this high, for example. I want to see above 25K. So I want to see above this level. Well, I could be wrong. And from here, we just full on dump and reverse. And then, hey, I missed the top of this move. I didn't short it. And, well, I'll have to look for a retest. I'll have to look for another intraday setup to try and get into a scalp swing trade. Okay, a scalp that turns into a swing. That's what I'd have to do if I'm wrong on this and we do not get above 25K. Sometimes it's a case we can't win every single trade. We cannot take every single trade. But we can trade our biases, we can have opinions, we can have wants and likes. And then for me, it's a matter of trading the charts, right? So it's like, you know, I showed you here, I had levels, I had biases. You know, we have clear resistances, we're still below the CC. But even though we're below that CC, I'm still saying I'm bullish, I'm still saying I'm wanting higher. So these levels, they're helpful, but it's then understanding which levels to trade, which levels not to trade. Those can be based off of the reactions, right? And also off of your biases. You know, yes, they are bullishly biased. I am looking for update, you know, I'm looking for higher. And I look at that pump from $22,000 to $25,000 in the space of a day. So of course, these biases are helpful in that regards, right? Um, I will just give you this bit of information in case you're interested that the new daily live stream updates, they really are a real hit, by the way. You now have every day, Igor and myself updating you exactly what we are looking at for our next trade. So it's, you know, this is obviously a free public YouTube update. So as you can imagine, the lot more information and concise information uh, is given inside of these daily updates inside the group. So if you would like to get involved on the new daily updates from Igor and myself, you can, of course, get that over at chartchampions.com now, okay? And that's where you can get access to daily updates from Igor and myself. You can get access to live trading. You can get access to now the other coaches, myself, Igor, Rivalry, and Severin. You can get alerted as soon as we post an update inside of our group. You know, I knew this was going to be an important alert, so I alert everybody in the group. I'm not short and I want higher. Well, after that post... We rise another five hundred dollars to the upside, right? So, if you want those sort of real-time updates, if you want those real-time insights, if you want live trading, if you want daily live streams, and of course, on top of all of that, the most important, the education. You want to understand these Fibonacci levels. You want to understand Fibonacci time. I've got Elliott waves coming out next month. So, if you want to learn about Elliott waves, if you want to learn all of our courses, you can get that all over on the website now. Full educational library from beginner to master all of it that you need to start successfully trading. As well as that, of course, you've got a very, very active, loving and supportive community alongside you of the champions. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to say, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've understood my biases. Hope you can understand how when needed, I can switch from bearish to bullish and understand what needs to be done to for, for that to happen. Because I know there's, there's obviously there's going to be someone that comments, hey, Daniel, last week you were in a short position. Um, you know, some people still struggle to understand that I can update my bias. Um, you know, if, if, if I'm bearish and we drop and then we get a nice reaction and a bounce, I can update that bias. So 
you know, you have to understand that's the sign of a, of a professional trader. Trade the charts, trade the reactions. And yeah, if you want those sort of insights, my bias is what I'm looking at more live rather than on these free YouTube updates, you get that with inside the group. Okay, so if you want more, see you over at chartchampions.com. For me, I'm going to sign out here. I'm going to say thank you ever so much, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will end, of course, with the legal trade disclaimer where there's just simply going to be saying this, no financial advice. At the end of the day, you do have to do your own research. Okay. And um, yeah, just make sure you understand this legal trade disclaimer, trades on paper, demo trades. Thank you and goodbye.